hello grade 3 welcome to our new science session today we will solve some questions related to the lessons which we already explained before unit 9 lesson 1 and 2 question number 1 which of the following groups name three states of matter do you remember the states of matter are they gas oil water liquid water ice solid liquid gas solid penny liquid the three states of matter are solid liquid gas question number two which group of verbs name physical properties of matter do you remember what is a physical property it's a characteristic of matter that we can observe with our senses or measure with a tool so the answer will be mirror wool cotton sour green hot salt candy sugar tall building glass which of these are characteristics that we can observe or measure its letter b sour its taste that we can observe green which is color hot which we can measure by a thermometer so these are three physical properties of matter the next one adam needs to measure the mass of an apple what tool can he use to measure the mass do you remember what is mass the amount of matter in an object do we use a balance to measure mass a barometer a ruler or a thermometer of course we use a balance the next one to find the mass of a solid any solid you would use a balance ruler hand lens measuring cup we have just said we use a balance okay let's move to the next question question number five the only form of matter with its own shape is gas liquid or solid does a gas have its own shape of course not it takes the shape of its container and it also spreads out to fill all the container what about a liquid it doesn't have definite shape but it has definite volume it takes the shape of its container what about a solid it's the only form of matter with its own shape so the answer here will be solid the next question a liquid changes to be a gas a liquid changes into a gas as it evaporates freezes melts when a liquid changes to be a gas what happens here it evaporates its evaporation the next one question number seven when a gas changes into a liquid here is an opposite operation that happens a gas like water vapor changes to be a liquid like liquid water what happened here it condenses evaporates or mixes of course a gas condenses the next one number eight how is solid matter different from all other kinds of matter it has mass it has its own shape it fills all the container 
it takes the shape of its container. Let's talk about all these choices. Letter A, it has mass. All matter have mass, so it's not letter A. Letter C, it fills all the container. It's not a solid, it's a gas. It takes the shape of its container. Also, it's not a solid, it's a liquid. So the answer here will be letter B. It has its own shape. The only form of matter with its own shape is a solid. Question number nine. Lily went for a walk. She found a purple stone. She breathed the air. She stepped in a puddle. She felt rain on her face. Which was solid matter? The air, the purple stone, the puddle, the rain. The solid matter here is the purple stone. 10. Which can you usually not see? A gas, a property, a liquid, a solid. We cannot usually see a gas. 11. Circle the group of words that tells how a liquid is different from a solid. A liquid takes up space. A liquid takes the shape of its container. A liquid has no color. Can we choose a liquid takes up space? Of course not because also solids take up space. Can we choose a liquid has no color? If we're talking about water only, yes, we can choose this. But we're talking about all liquids and most liquids have colors like all kinds of juice, like most kinds of hot drinks, milk, coffee, tea, they have color. So the answer here will be letter B. A liquid takes the shape of its container. The next question, number 12, which would you use to measure the volume of a liquid? The measuring unit here for volume will be inch, centimeters or milliliters. Do you remember the unit? It will be milliliters. When we use the graduated cylinder. It will be milliliters. 13. Space is the measure of how warm something is. Is it temperature, hot, or mass? How warm something is, is a physical property which is temperature. Space is a physical property of matter that means the amount of space something takes up. The amount of space something takes up means its mass, volume, temperature, thermometer. It means the volume. What about mass? It means the amount of matter something have. But volume the amount of space something takes up. 15. A graduated cylinder which has 80 milliliters of water, you throw a stone so the water level rises up to 100 milliliters. Measure the volume of the stone alone. What will we do here? We will subtract to get the volume of the stone alone. Will it be 30, 80, 100 or 20? 
let's calculate it together 100 minus 80 it will be 20 16 the size and shape of an object are some of its physical properties forms shape mass size shape texture color taste volume mass all of these are called physical properties of matter because these are some characteristics that we can measure or observe the last question at 30 degrees celsius water is a 30 degrees solid liquid or gas it will be a liquid why because in this scale celsius water boils or changes to be a gas at 100 degrees and freezes or it changes to be a solid which is ice at zero degrees that's all for today grade three thank you for listening and 